Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into a Kia Telluride video. You guys might know my channel for its tool reviews, car repairs, project car or auto detailing but today we're going to be going into my Kia Telluride. If you have a 2020 or 2021 Kia Telluride and you have an LX, EX or an S model or level, trim level, you may do, be doing some upgrades to it. The reason I say those and not the SX is because today's video is going to be over LED lighting, which the SX already has LED lighting and the EX does have some level of LED lights as well. But if you're looking at upgrading anything like the license plate lights, reverse lights, blinkers or headlights, since these are not LEDs on the lower trim levels, it really does increase the visibility and can really, uh, be a nice little touch or customization to your vehicle. So I purchased the last fit, as you might see up here, front blinkers, they're the amber ones, which are a lot brighter than the stock halogens. And then I also got their headlights. So it, these are going, I'll share the part numbers with you and everything so you guys can find them. Also it'll be linked down in the description on the Amazon link that says Kia Telluride. All of the products I purchase will be there or anything I'm interested in purchasing for my Kia Telluride will be there, there as well. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the front blinkers and in the next video, I will be doing one on the headlights alone from Last Fit. There are a lot of different LED brands out there that offer lights for the Kia Telluride. Uh, it's finding the ones that are reliable and have been tested before. So if you guys check out the Kia Telluride Facebook page, that can be very helpful as well. But the last fit has lights specifically stating that they, they work with the Kia Telluride and I've seen a lot of people on Facebook use them. So that's what we're gonna be installing today. I almost went with Diode Dynamics, but then again, not everybody wants to pay 150 to $200 for a pair of headlights. So that's why I went this route. It's a little bit more affordable and a lot of people have used them and trust them. So today, blinkers, next video, headlights. Stay tuned. I'll show you how to install them and just some of the differences uh, between the old halogens and the new LEDs. I hope you guys enjoy. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time looking into these. We're going to give you a real quick overview of them. Then we're going to go ahead and get them installed in the vehicle. So these are the new blinkers for the front that I picked up. This is some of the information on Last Fit and where they are located, their website and all of that, but it will be all linked down in the description for you guys under the Kia Telluride portion of the description. Other than that, we're gonna be looking into these. In the next video, I will be going into installing the headlights. So this is the one specific for the Kia Telluride. Now, Last Fit has a lot of stuff. They do LED lights and floor liners. They also have a lot of 10% discounts and 15% discounts. I got mine on Black Friday through Cyber Monday to get like 40% off, something that was a really good deal. <laughs> and then, um, so you can also get reverse lights, headlights, license plate lights, turn signals, all of that good stuff from Last Fit. So for the reverse lights, just in case you guys are interested, I will try and have some of these linked down in the description as well. Uh, the reverse lights are gonna be bulb number 921s or 912s, also considered T15s. Uh, they have canvas ones, which are good for vehicles that have a canvas system and can sometimes cause lights do not work properly depending on how many LEDs are in the vehicle or where it's located, it's, it can be very tricky. So that's why Last Fit takes the time to figure out what bulbs work for what vehicles and which ones don't. So pay attention to that. Now this was originally designed and displayed as a turn signal bulb in their specific video on the Telluride. So they have a video, Last Fit has a video of them installing these specific bulbs in the Telluride. They also have it in the display pictures when you look at the headlights for the Kia Telluride on their website. If you flip through the pictures, it shows you every bulb they offer just in the pictures alone. This is the once again there. But when you type in Kia Telluride, nothing for turn signals pops up. But if you click on the headlights, you'll see this in the pictures and it's the part number, everything. And so I went to it, clicked on it, it said it causes hyper flashing with these bulbs in the Kia Telluride and a few other models. 
well i know a lot of people who have used these and haven't had an issue they also used them in their specific video didn't have an issue so i already have one installed haven't had an issue yet obviously i haven't drove around with one bright one and one dim one but i uh, played around with it for a little bit while and didn't have an issue but we'll see once we get this other one in so besides reverse lights those are going to run around 30 or 20 to 30 dollars depending on which ones you want the headlights which are 9005s or hb3s they have leds that range from 5000 to 8000 lumens per set or 2,500 to 4,000 lumens per bulb. And that's going to range from $50 to $130. Or you can get a kit that includes uh, reverse lights, license plate lights, and headlights for $130. So that's a pretty good set as well. I wanna say it's their second tier from the top uh, headlight. So it's a pretty good kit, pretty good price. They have their license plate lights. They got a couple different options there. They have one that uh, you can get in eight different colors and then they have their standard license plate lights, which are T10s, 168s or 194s. And those are gonna run around $15. And then the front turn signals T-1157 alphas, which is for the amber and then 2057 uh, as well. And you can get them, they have a few different ones. They have switchback ones, but that is also said to not work in the Telluride. And that one basically switches from a white color while driving to orange when turning, when it flips back and forth from white to orange, it's pretty cool. Uh, but they have a lot of different ones for uh, the Telluride and available for many other vehicles. So the site said this hyper flash is in the Telluride everywhere else i look it says it's made to work with the telluride um, but they have bulbs for turn signals and stuff that range anywhere from 22 dollars to 70 dollars these i want to say are originally 60 or 70 dollars but i got them for almost half price so it was a really good deal but we're going to go ahead and get this installed i'll show you a real quick look of the kia telluride's original halogen turn signals or 1157s And then I'll show a clip of this one blinking and then this one blinking just to show you just how much brighter this bulb is. And I'll bring you in so you can see a size comparison up close. So it doesn't have a problem fitting into the Kia Telluride, so that's no worry. Let's get out there and get to it. Okay, so on the passenger side, that is going to be it right there, that tab. There's no connector on the back whatsoever, and it may be a pain to initially remove. You may need a pair of long needle nose pliers in order to get in there and twist it. It can be a pain because you're kind of restricted with your hand movement and uh, stuff, but that is it located right underneath the headlight housing so here is the headlight inside of here and right below it is going to be the blinker on the driver's side it is located right there so same spot uh, you do have some room to work here so if you follow me down from the battery right next to the battery go straight down and there it is. So that is what you're working with. The rubber seal is going to be a little tight, so when you initially try to remove these, it is going to be a pain uh, a little bit. But if you have a long pair of needle nose like this, get a little bit of leverage back there, you can uh, pretty easily, all it takes is just to turn it just a little bit, and then you can get the rest with your hand and get it out of there. So all I'm gonna do is simply push down on the bulb, twist, and then it will come out and then you can just reinsert the new bulb and install it back into the housing and then we'll get it turned on wow much much brighter before you could barely see the flash on the garage door with the headlights on now you can very, very easily see that. I definitely don't want to be the guy in front of me. <laughs> kind of sounds uh, 
bad, but I definitely don't want to be the guy in front of me when I'm using my blinkers. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Super easy to install. Just takes about maybe two to five minutes per headlight. Um, and that's with recording, so not too bad. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section of your guys' thoughts for what you went with. And as always, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. See you guys next time.